everyone and welcome back to SMKC TV. We are so happy to have you joining us again this week and we'll be back with the Cheeky Pandas too. But first, George, can you let us know what the theme is today? L, help! Yeah, that's right. The theme today is help. No, L, help. I was trying to tie my laces and I can't get back up. Let's hear from the Cheeky Pandas whilst I see if I can help George back up. <laughs> we are observing the Cheeky Pandas in their natural habitat. It turns out it's not the misty mountains of China, but instead in a treehouse studio deep in the heart of England. Wah! Yeah, awesome rocking, Milo. Wah! No, I'm really mean. Wah! There's a huge spider next to you, Rory. Wow! That's huge. Hello, cheeky pandas. Are you standing on your equipment because you are rocking out? No, we're standing on our equipment because there's a huge spider. Ah, I see. I didn't know pandas were afraid of spiders. Well, we're not afraid exactly. Just, uh, it's easier to see the beauty of it from higher up. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's uh, uh, correct. Wonderful. Well, in that case, let me tell you a joke. How do you scare a panda? Bamboo! <laughs> oh, okay. I'll leave you to carry on with your rehearsal. Uh, well, I'm not moving it. I had to deal with the bird that flew into the studio last week and pooped in the song machine. Well... I had to clean Rory's mixing desk after someone dropped pizza on it. That, that was, was your, your pizza. pizza. And you dropped it. This isn't getting us anywhere. We need a plan. Thinking hats on, my panda compadres. Think, think, think. Oh, oh, I got it. We could scare it away. Benji, play a rocking drum solo. Take it away. Well, that didn't work. Oh, I know. Milo, play one of your drop D guitar riffs. They're so scary, it will definitely run away. It's still not moving. What are we going to do? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? To, to the, the bamboo, bamboo phone! phone. Hang on, this is tricky. We're all up here and the bamboo phone is over there. Ah, I see your problem. Thankfully, I recently downloaded the voice recognition upgrade for the bamboo phone. Let me see if it works. Bamboo phone, I need to order a spider catcher right away, please. Thank you. Sorry. I'm not sure I quite heard that. I said I need to order a spider catcher. I'm sorry, I don't recognize spider catcher. A bamboo phone? Oh, never mind. Well, if the bamboo phone doesn't know how to order a spider catcher... Certainly. Ordering you a spider catcher now. It's, it's the, the Pandaroo Delivery! delivery. Awesome! It, it's a skateboard. Hmm, something obviously went wrong with the voice recognition. You know this reminds me of something in your Bibles that will help you face scary things. There are some important verses about putting on the armour of God. The armour of God? How's that going to help us? I haven't got a sword or a shield or any armour. Well, pandas, although you can't see the armour of God, it's there and it's very strong. Wow! Invisible armour? That's right, Milo. You can wear it every moment of the day. You simply need to ask God to help you put it on. So why don't you all put on your God suit so you can jump down and catch that spider? Be brave now! Oh, wait a minute, guys. 
This is just Lulu's toy spider. She's been looking for that for ages. What an adventure we've had today, pandas. We've learned some wonderful lessons, haven't we? Yes. Number one, we can ask God to help us put on his armor, our invisible God suit. And number two, you should never be scared of spiders, even toy ones. Those silly pandas. I can't believe they thought that that spider was real. But what a great story about how God helps us. Yeah, and I loved hearing all about the armour of God. Do you remember learning about that earlier in the year? Of course I do. Shall we hear from our special guest, George? Oh, yes. Uh, I'm Nicky Gumble, and I'm the vicar of HTV, which is in central London. My grandson, who's living in our home, he calls me Bar. He'll say, Bar, help me. And, um, and I love, there's nothing that gives me more pleasure than helping him. When, I'm so thrilled if he ever asked me for help. If he asked me to read him a story, I love to do that. I love to help him. And God is our father. He loves us and he wants to be in communication with us. And he loves it when we say to him, Lord, help, come and help me. And because a relationship with God is, is like that kind of relationship. It's a love relationship where, where you, God could do it all on his own. I mean, I could probably uh, build the train track on my own, but I love to do it together with my grandson. That's the fun of doing it together. And each has a part to play. He has a part to play and I have a part to play. And together we can build something and have fun doing it together. And that's the same in our relationship with God. So help Lord is a great prayer to, play, to pray every day.
And I loved hearing from Nikki about how God loves helping us. Yeah, it's great that when we need help, we can ask God for it, and that God is always with us, helping us. Shall we pray? Yeah, let's pray. So let's open our hands out and close our eyes as a sign. No, oh, piss. Shall we pray? Yeah, let's do it. So let's find somewhere comfortable, standing, sitting, lying down, 
put our hands out as a sign of being open to God and let's close our eyes. Thank you God for helping us in the good and the bad in every day of our lives, those that have passed, those that we are living in now and those that are yet to come, you will be helping us every step of the way. And help us God to ask, help us God to ask you for help in those times where it's difficult. Help us to turn to you and help ask you to help us and guide us. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's episode of SMKC TV. We hope you have a wonderful week and we will see you next week. Bye! Bye.